what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so me and adam were sitting here chatting and i'm going over a car build that i'm working on for maybe my next car to add to my personal channel and uh he doesn't like the idea very much <laughs> welcome back to our two car guys first fight first fight yeah here it is so <laughs> So the, the truth is, um, you know, I've had three C8s, um, C8 Corvettes, and I am working on placing my order for my fourth one, my second Z06. And the second Z06 is a Z07 car and or a Z07 aero package car without the Z07 pack. I and thought this was your third one total. This is my fourth one total. The orange one, the blue the white one. one. Oh, the blue one. Yeah, I had a blue one. I had an orange and a blue Corvette at the same time. C8. Okay. All right. And then I had a, uh, and then I had the white Z06. I traded both of those cars in on it. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty versed in the Corvette world and, and it's my safe zone, I guess. So he's saying step out of my comfort zone and buy a different car. I am. So, and... so, okay. So guys, here's my argument and, and we're going to, we're going to take a poll. Okay. Yeah, John's going to let me uh, have a crack at maybe making his suggestion for his next car. But here's the deal. So the the argument is, or my argument is, that although I like the Z, I like the Z06, like the Z07 package, and I'll let John talk about what he's, how he's building it. Yep. Although I like the Z06 and the Z07 package, I mean, there's a lot of C8s right now. There it is. And the C8, the C8s are everywhere. You've got some really unique, really cool cars. I'd like to see you add another unique, cool car to the channel, to our channel, to your channel, right? right. And I don't think the C8 is hitting the mark. You now, don't think it's a good it, place to put the money. No. And is it a, is it a good car? It's an awesome car. Don't get me wrong. I think it's an awesome car. And if you're trying to get into, you know supercars and you're trying to get into that whole you know lifestyle and everything it's a great car to get i mean it's a it's a really 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 reliable cool fast um beautiful looking car right it is and it kind of checks a lot of the blocks so when you're when you're looking for performance check uh you're looking for you know being able to personalize it check uh and and the big thing for me is you know this is a brand new car so every time I've had to, you know, venture away from the Corvettes or whatever, it's had to be, okay, now I'm having to go up another price bracket to get something different. And that but this isn't your old, this isn't your old no. price bracket, man. This is not a seventy, sixty thousand dollar <laughs> car anymore. No, See, but it's even over a hundred K. The Z06 is R. I mean, and that was the other thing I was gonna tell you. So I'm kind of between two different things. I can buy used like base model C8 and twin turbo it. I think that would be pretty cool and unique and different. Uh, I mean, that'd be cool for the channel, but there's already people who've done that. Yeah, you know, there the, is. The and twin turbo C8 is not new. You know, but you kind of get that. I like the way the Corvette drives. I like the way it feels. It's a comfortable car. It's but, a great car. Uh, but uh, when you're, you know, when you pass five of them riding down a road, it's like, you know, it takes, it takes the fun out of it to an extent. But so, I've got an opportunity to possibly get another allocation for a Z06, which is rare right now still. Even even in the crazy market of we see a lot of cars, the Z06 is still kind of hard to get. And um, so I've got another allocation kind of lined up, and I'm trying to finalize my decision on my spec. So I sent Adam two of them. I've got a 1LZ spec, and I've got a 2LT, 2LZ spec. And um, the 2LZ spec is, you know, basically the same car, just... Uh, I did non Z07, just the Z07 Aero, which is kind of a, you know, some people will be like, hey, you shouldn't do that. But I'll be honest, the steel brakes are better if you plan to track the car because they're cheaper to replace than carbon ceramics. So, you know, I mean, I, I mean, know. OK, but here's the deal, right? Are you going to be tracking the car? Are you going to be taking that car to the track? I don't know that you are. <laughs> so, okay. yes and no. So I, I like doing track days. Of course. Um, I like doing track days too. I don't have time to do them anymore. I'm the guy that's like, I will definitely take a $5,000 car to the track. Right. Not a $105,000 car. You know, I'm not that guy. Uh, nope. You know, I'll go out there and have just as much fun in my Audi 
on the track. And if I wreck it, I can walk away and say, okay, well that wasn't so bad. Uh, where if I do that in the, uh, in the Z06, like that's, that's game changing, uh, financially for me. So yeah, I don't know, man, would I ever track it? Probably not. Do I want the option to be able to? Sure. So, you know, so, uh, so here's the deal, right. And, and I can say this from experience. So uh, as many of you know, I'm a, I'm a motorcycle guy as much as I am a car guy. I've had a lot of bikes. I do track days and everything. A few years ago, I was lucky enough to get my hands on a, um, it was a, a Ben Bostrom Super Stock R1, yeah. bin number one five five zero two, hand built aluminum tank, all Graves parts, all Olin's parts. I mean, it was a amazing motorcycle. It was a lot more bike than I needed because um, yeah. it was like one hundred eighty seven real world horsepower, and it was just a monster on the track, right? Yeah. Um, but it was his B bike, right? It wasn't the, it wasn't the a bike and it was a super stock, not a super sport bike. Right. Um, but it was, it was a piece of, you know, AMA history. Right. And I took it to a couple track days, but I was very reserved on those track days. Right. Cause the and last I thing you knew, want to do is wreck a piece of motorsport history. Dude, I've said it. I've said it a million. I've said it a million times. I would rather, you know, knock on wood. I don't want anything to happen to you or me. Right. But I would rather, you know, lay a bike down, get up, and walk away from it, be be okay, and not even look over my shoulder at it. Don't right. even bother. Don't even bother sending the truck out to get it. I'll just go home. I'll yeah. start over fresh new with another bike. Right. Yeah. And and that's that's kind of <clears> where I'm at when I go to the track. Like I want to be able to see, go out there and really truly thrash the car to a point that i may or may not take this car home you know <laughs> and uh and to do that in a, in a brand new z06 would be very difficult um but you know it'd be hard to pass this allocation up because i can't order a new lamborghini uh for the price of it i can't order a new mclaren for the price of it uh and and the brands that i truly like are you know mclaren lamborghini and the lotus it just doesn't uh, the the Amira just doesn't do it for me like it's like I thought it would um, when I saw cool car, the though. release for it I thought well that's really cool but for that money I'd probably buy a Porsche Cayman or something like that and I could probably I could probably spec a new Cayman for the same money uh, but performance wise the Z06 hands down is faster to me a little bit cooler uh, you know okay. and I hear you Porsche but rare I, I mean so. <laughs> rare rare wise rareness that's a word. Yeah. Right. Um, the, the Lotus is going to be a better bet. You're not going to see as many of those cars, you know, they're making it in manual, which is, you know, you can't get a, you can't get a Corvette Z06 in manual period. Right. right. Yeah. Um, but... <clears throat> but here, here, I'm about to burst your bubble. You okay. ready? I'm ready. About to burst, okay. I'm about to burst your bubble. Let's go. I am on right now while we're talking, I am on, uh, a a well-known uh, car site that pulls in from all the big ones, eBay, CarSoup, Cars.com, True Cars. Okay. I can't even stop scrolling on how many Z06s are available right now. I'm not and even how much How much over sticker are they? Well, here's one for 133 999 with 458 miles on it. Here's one for 145 okay. with 600 miles on it. 144 oh, with, with 1,200 miles on okay, it. Okay, I got it. I got it. And and don't get me wrong. Um, if you spec the car to the moon and expect to get a full return <clears throat> on that money, you're probably not going to. Um, I'm just saying if you're going to get the Z06, you need to get it because you love the car and because you want to drive the wheels off it. And I yeah. fully support that. Yeah, but if, it, if you're getting it because you think that that it's it's rare to get one right now and to get an yeah. allocation for it is special, I hate to break it to you, man. I mean, I'm looking yeah. at this is a three LZ package, Z06 with three LZ package with carbon ceramic brakes, one forty nine with four hundred miles on it. Does it have the Z07 pack? The yes, Z07 arrow. it does have the Z07 arrow pack on it. I, dude i'm telling you right now but I mean, you're... you know the other part too is it's kind of like mm -hmm. the like we talked about before with the corvette museum delivery and all that type of stuff of course, and, legit and, don't i'm, I'm not i'm not know. diminishing anything about the z06 I, right. I i i'm telling you right now that it's an amazing car it's it's right. fun to drive it's good it's it's good looking i mean you're gonna do a double take on it if you don't know what it is right right but the truth of the matter is this is your fourth 
Yeah. I'd love to see you in a GT4 RS. Yeah. Or uh or a an Amira or uh I mean there's a bunch of cars that I think would be cool for you to have at this Great. point. I mean, and, and okay. I, and to an extent, I agree. Uh, you know, I want to get into something different. And, uh, you know, as far as flipping this car and making mm -hmm. money, probably not. Um, no. But I would be completely tapped out as far as cars go, as far as the budgets go, if I was to order another Z06. So, you know, That's it's kind I'm of that, that question of where do you put the money, do, you know, and to get it, I mean, I'm obviously going to have to give up some cars too. It's not like I'm just loaded no. over here, boys. Um, but, you know, uh, for me, I would have to give up the Maserati and I'd have to give up the Audi for it. For See, sure. I like the, I, you, you've got to give up the, the Audi anyway. I like the Maserati. I think that's a really cool car. Yeah. I think it's understated. It's, it's it sleek. Is. It's different. It's comfortable. It's, yeah, it, it does all of that. And yep. it's, it's already fast. It's a cool car. Um, and that's Sounds why I'm kind of thinking it does. It, it does all the, it checks all the blocks and it's yeah. a good, you know, but I've had that car for, you know, five years now. Uh, yeah. Four years, 2019 is when we got mm -hmm. it. So yeah, I mean, I, I mean, know. I hear you. I'm so, ready. It, so it, I guess it's everybody that. is listening in the comments yeah. below. Let's start here, right? Should John give up a couple cars? He has now and get, and go after another C8, z06 z07 pack car and order a brand new one right or should he go after something just new to him new to the garage new to the new to the channel yeah and, and go about it that way so that's the that's the first question we're gonna have right? right and then the next question we have to the you know to the masses is if you what say car? that he should go after something new something different what Yep. Is it and, the and let's set a budget here. Uh, let's not go over the the 150 mark. I mean, okay, 150 is probably maxed out. I'd okay. like to be around the like 130 mark. <laughs> I mean, one. I'm 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 completely fine with 150. Now, now yeah. for those of you watching, I am wearing a shirt that says "Just one more car." I promise. Oh, I know. Which and, is and pretty, again, pretty this is 100 percent a luxury thing. Uh, <clears> you know. Uh, I'm hoping, and this is in hopes that I would be able to get the car. That's saying a bunch of good things happen in the next six months. Um, you know, that that may never happen. So y'all let me know what you think below. Uh, I'm definitely interested to see y'all's comments and see what you think at the 150 mark you would buy. Uh, you know, Miami Blue Porsches, they have my heart. I would, I would love to have one. Ooh, uh, I would be, probably cool lean... Car. I would probably lean more 911, uh, maybe like a Carrera base with like an APR tune and go stage stage three GTS turbos on it. That an APR cool. tune. I don't know. I've heard of them before. <sighs> you know, it's a cool company. Uh, you know, if you ever call in and ask for John Price, you might get me on the phone. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I mean, so, you know, there's some cool stuff out there and, and there's some stuff, other options too. I would do probably like an, if I didn't do the, do the, Z06, I'd probably do like a 911. I haven't had a Porsche we had, outside of the Cayman, which is or Cayenne, which is my wife's SUV. Um, but I, I would like to get add a Porsche to the collection, I guess. Would you ever think about getting a Nissan GTR? Yes. Uh, I actually looked at them like a couple days ago. I was looking at them pretty intently. It's a pretty uh, cool car, and I like the re I like the new redesign. Yeah, it's just there's getting one that's not been just beat up man uh, for the money i'd like to spend in a gtr that's a 60 70 thousand dollar car i'm not spending the 120 mark on that to yeah, me but if you I, get I one if you spend 120 you can get a new one yeah but that car is i mean you know where that one's going man you are 100 percent on the road for depreciation like hardcore uh, it, the interior is dated no the, no they just did a, they just did a whole revamp of that car they did a facelift it's, on the outside. The interior has been updated. It's a pretty cool car. It looks more like the R34 than it does the R35. So the, the thing with the GTR for me <clears throat> uh, in general is that's a car I wanted when I had the 370. And then I got the Viper and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is what it's all about. And now I kind of want that, that feeling. Uh, and now don't get me wrong. The GTR is a sick car, but it's kind of a, if you're just driving it normal, it can be a normal car. In, in crazy mode it can be a crazy car i want that full-on raw experience and and that's why i'm looking more or less like at a 1lz car with like the car with like the you know the uh 
with the arrow and just making it like a track pack car. Yeah, but dude, you just t- you just said you don't want a car that can be driven in regular mode and can be that car and then driven in crazy mode. That you're 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 describing like a McLaren. You're describing I, like uh, a four five eight where where it's just <laughs> rawness and you're driving correct. hard. Uh, the want that, is, I mean, obviously, I want a McLaren. the The problem is at that price point, I'm buying a five seventy or a there's nothing wrong with buying a five seventy. A five seventy uh, is a f- really cool car. It is, but. I, you know, I want the 600 LT. I want the, you know, the next, the next level. I want like a 720. Like that's what I really want. And, and to me, I don't think it's good to buy that car yet until I'm getting the one I truly want. Kind of like, you know, before I've bought budget cars to get me into a car. So I bought the DB9 thinking, oh man, I got a DB9. This is awesome. And then I got it and found out it was not a great car. And I spent a lot yeah, of you, money making it. You really like that car though. I did, but I liked it when it was good. I right. hated it when it wasn't, and it was wasn't you. a lot more of the time than it was. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> so you know, and and I don't want a car that just sits on the lift. And with the Corvette, I mean, if I get a the other part too, a new one, I'm getting a brand new car, brand new warranty. Uh, you know, all of these things, and I'll probably avoid the warranty first week. But nonetheless, I mean, do you think that the know? depreciation on that car is going to be any worse than it would be on the Z06, considering how many of them are out there right now? Which car? The, the the GTR. Yes. Uh just because there's so so many GTRs. But not so, as the so new many. one. Uh, but the new one, it doesn't do it for me. You know okay. what I mean? Like that's all it, you had to say. It, yeah, it that's doesn't. That's all do you it had to me. say. I think that's the main thing. It, it's it like for the GTR for me, it's a cool car. It, it does a lot of crazy things, and you can add a ton of power to them to make them cool. I would probably buy like a 16, 17. Uh, of the car, yeah, you definitely like want a seventeen or newer. Mile. Yeah, I would probably do a sixty thousand, uh, uh, like a less than sixty thousand mile car, uh, and know it'd be a good car. A uh, buddy of mine's got an R eight, a uh, super cool car. Um, yeah, what about an R eight? And you know, then you get that Lambo V ten. Correct, but at that point, I want like, you know, I'm looking even further. I, I'd rather have a Huracan. You know what I mean? I'd rather just go straight into a Huracan. Like a I mean, five eighty dash two Huracan, be done with it. Uh, okay, so here's 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 a hot take. Right, is I like the Huracan a lot. I think it's a really really cool car. I would love to have a Huracan if I could find the right deal on one. Um, I, I'd I'd be down with like a purple Huracan or like a you know like a yellow one. Yeah. Um, I'd like to get a sixty three. You know something yeah, something that's a little bit more cool. rare. Yeah, of course. But but like the, the AMR the, pack or something. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Just like, just like your, just like your AMR. So, but the, 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 the real truth of it is, and this is where the hot take comes in, right? The Huracan is the Toyota Camry of the supercar market. I know. They made know. a billion of those freaking cars. I know. And every influencer has one. Every Instagram yeah. person has one. I every know. YouTuber's got one. And I mean, the th- don't get me wrong. I would have one tomorrow. I would sign up for that in a minute, right? Yep. But they're still making the Huracan. Well, they're now they're making the Technica. Yeah. Um, you know, and you've got you've got the Huracan a bunch of different flavors. Yeah. Like they just made the last R8. You know, so, and if you could get an R8 plus, an R8 B10 plus, that's a great car. And actually a friend of mine just bought one the other day and I I drove in his. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, it is a great car. I've driven my buddies, uh, and it's fast. It's cool. It's I mean, we, did, we just more room in it than a yesterday than a, uh, Lamborghini. Yes, but, but what? And it's a big but. Uh, I just I don't know, man. The R eight just kind of doesn't do it for me either. You know? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what if I get you a purple R eight with green brakes? Look, yes, I would be totally down for it. <laughs> But at the 150 mark, I'm buying a 16, 17 R8 with a bunch of miles on it. I mean, right? not necessarily. 17, 18 probably with a bunch of miles on it. No, at, no, because because uh, my friend just bought his. His is an R8 B10 plus. Yeah, I think his is a 19. Right. And I'm also a bit sour because I had the chance to get an R8, and I was told I was going to get the allocation, and then my buddy gave the allocation to someone else, and I was just like, well, you know, it's really funny. My friend uh, that d- just bought the R8 just sent me a message while we're doing this video. It's hilarious. So he oh, must know he? <laughs> he must he must know we're talking about him. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so 
I don't know, man. Uh, don't get me wrong. The R8's awesome. I would probably own an R8, but I mean, at that, I mean, it probably holds better value too long term. So I don't know. In comparison to the Corvette, the R8 maybe the R8. But yeah, uh, maybe. But the spec I would want, and that's the other thing. I like rear-wheel drive cars, personally. And okay. I, that's what I like about the 600 LT and the, and the McLarens and all that. They make the performance and do all that with rear-wheel drive. The Audis and the Lambos and all that with all-wheel drive, you can get the 580-2 and you can get the base R8, but... You know, so not the even the base there. R8. No. They make they make a special edition R8. I think they only made 999 of them or something like that. But they make it a special edition R8. Uh, they make it in I, I I know for a fact it's in black. I've seen it in white with a red stripe. But it's yeah. rear wheel drive. Yeah, and that I've that's the that. car to have, man. I've seen that. That would be a great car. Um, the spec I would want. I don't want a white or a black car. So that's there's that. I mean, I know some people um, can picky. for you. I think the big problem is I'm picky. I'm very picky. And no, you're and not. You're about to you're cool about to put your order in on a, on a C8. That's not picky. But I got to spec the car. I've it's, seen your build. It's not special. It's it's still cool. Come on, man. Look at that. <laughs> like like no hate on you, but you're 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 foregoing all the carbon options, all the upgrade options. Your biggest upgrade on that car is the seat belts. No, it was the seats and the uh, aero pack. Okay. Okay. But still. Come on, man. I, I, I'm telling you right now, I think our audience will agree, right? Don't do the R8. That, or don't that do the, the R8. Uh, the R8, R8 would be cooler. The... That the, that the, even the GTR would probably be cooler, right? The Lotus is more rare, you know? I mean. I appreciate y'all's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's band together and get him and and uh, and influence his decision to buy a car. But the other part too is new car versus how old of a car too, because that's that's the biggest part. If I could get a brand new R eight at 135, 140, sure, absolutely in a heartbeat, everybody would. So um, what if I told what if I told you that the R eight is a twenty twenty, right? Okay, and you're gonna lose less money on the R eight than you're gonna lose on the C eight. It depends. What's my interest rate on that car? Three because, nine, I don't know. Well, the, the other part, too, is you got to look at interest rates on a new car. A new car, I can get the lowest interest rate and the best terms. Yeah, but on are they going to give you those special terms on a C8? Yeah, I mean, I, it's the same financing regardless. Uh, I go no, a, like, lot of, a lot of know, times they reserve bank, some so. of those financing options for like special cars, right? Some of those special cars don't get the same discounts right. that everybody else does. so yeah so this the bank i use it doesn't matter what kind of car it is it's all about yeah. value of the car and what it is and and how how long a term i can go on it if i want to go that far um but we won't go into financing and all that stuff but i'm just thinking in 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 instances of spending close to 100 grand on a car i really truly want the best rate i can get and on a new car i'm going to get a way better rate than i will on like a 2020 or a 21 at this point yeah i i'm i can't disagree with you there yeah but i don't know man we'll see what the future holds all right you're gonna see a picture of me with the new car all right v10 plus would be cool (laughs) (laughs) Uh, anyways yeah i mean i i I think i think there's one of those episodes where we definitely need our viewer feedback and tell us what you think i mean am i am i wrong am i wrong and he should get the he should get the C8 and just go ahead and go for it. Um, maybe I'm or, wrong. I don't know. Or maybe John's wrong. Maybe maybe yep. we need to get something new to the channel. Yeah. Uh, maybe I just don't need to do anything. You know, maybe that's the oh, best that's, option. That's never. That's never option. the that's right a, option. We both ter- agree with that. We made answer. one agreement on this. On this. <laughs> we can both agree. Answer. That that's not the right answer. <laughs> no. Well, no. Let us know. Y'all have a good one. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.